It is so cool to be here to get to check out Heidi and Franny's garage. Like many people who research the internet and YouTube for information before they purchase a car, this was the video that caught my attention. Check out this intro from Heidi and Franny's Garage. This video of their review of the BMW i8 really gave me a ton of information and helped me with my buying decision. I didn't hesitate to reach out to them and support their channel through Patreon. And it wasn't long before they said, next time you're in Colorado, stop by. So I didn't hesitate to let them know when I was visiting Colorado for a dance event, I'm going to be in town. They invited me into their garage and this is what I got to see. So it's a little windy, but this is the signature shot. It is so cool to be here to get to check out Heidi and Franny's garage. We got the i8 and these beautiful Porsches. I, I'm not a Porsche guy right now. I, I wanted a Porsche many years ago. Uh, 944 was something I was interested in before I bought the Corvettes, but I could really appreciate all of these. This is actually a, a little bit of a candid uh, introduction, but uh, here's Heidi, here's Franny. And, Hi everyone. Um, and obviously there'll be a link to their channel in my channel. Um, I do really appreciate these folks for all the work that they do. Um, they're the main reason that I ended up making a decision to purchase an i8. Oh really? And oh, yes, that was great. one of the things awesome. when, I didn't know that. <laughs> when I saw when I saw your information on YouTube for the first time, that gave me an opportunity to really understand what it was like to have an i8. So when you went through the process of doing the review, and then when you went through the process of actually driving the car, um, I had a chance to really experience what it was like to be an owner of something like that for the first time, yeah. being that it was such a foreign platform mm -hmm. for you to own. Mm -hmm. and it was, it was, it very was really, but it mm -hmm. was so much fun, and um, <laughs> I love it now, I actually really like it. It's an amazing so, car. Yeah, I mean, really a lot of times is. I can literally just have it, you know, plugged in, go to the grocery store, <laughs> come back, and I think if you, I mean, I don't think I even go through a full, um, the full, charge of electric yeah so, so I, I mean the occasionally the engine will turn on because I think BMW has a program to do that like once a week or something you'll hear it come on yep but it's nice because we're we don't ha I hate the gas station yeah that is one thing I mean I really do like I, I mean I, I love our classic cars but I hate going to the gas station <laughs> Franny will tell you that <laughs> so <laughs> now for yeah. me being a daily driver and I have to drive an extended distance oh yeah I'm typically on gas every day uh -huh. well but, Franny uh, is that she drives it downtown ah uh, yeah that yeah. makes sense yeah. but for the local stuff I can only imagine that yeah if you're just making very very short trips you know the engine kicks in every now and then that lets I you know it's there <laughs> i bet you're still getting pretty decent gas mileage though yeah. when you're driving in every oh day. yes mm -hmm. yeah 35 was my worst and that was on a very long trip so you start off with a charge okay, that's good and know. then you drive seven hours and right, at right, that point right, you're yeah. on gas the entire time but and still 35, 35. Miles but you're never stuck amazing. i mean you think about somebody that has to take their tesla across country yes you're not stuck no we can keep going. We can enjoy <laughs> right, this car. Right, right. So that's that's the really cool thing. I'm I, having this opportunity to come out and visit. Um, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Oh, that was it was sure. really really Absolutely. cool. Um, but it, this was the main reason. This car was the main reason that I came to their channel. And um, just take it, taking a, a walk around the car 
and noticing one of the bigger uh, improvements in my opinion that they've made to the car was the door sills. Um, the problem with the door sills is getting in and out of the car you scratch the door sills yeah. and when you buy a used car I mean, you bought yours used. I'm sure scratched. you saw some scratches yeah. on your was. door sills and as I've well. And I've seen them scratched on the door sill since we put the carbon fiber treatment on it. Sure. It's a little bit scratched, yeah. but it's not bad. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. I actually taking a walk around the car and seeing that carbon fiber, I was really impressed. This is something I want to do with mine. I think it's, it's spectacular. The car is amazing. Um, I love it in the gray. What's the exact color? Is it protonic silver? Protonic silver. I yep. Think, I think yep. that's right. Yep, that I makes sense. What, what I really like about the color is that it works really well with the blue. So you have the frosted gray yes. access, right? Accents, and this has the blue. But um, sometimes when the blue against the white against the black is too many primaries and it's too intense, I think. Yep. But I like this because the gray works really well and all the bits, all the black bits stand out, the blue parts stand out. So it's, it's a, I wasn't really, I really wanted a white. I was what I really wanted was a white car. And uh, this one came up and we needed to do the review. So we did the review. And we were so... She wanted your color card. Yeah. <laughs> we were so taken by it, though, that we traded the Mini in on the spot. So... Yeah, yeah we weren't even it. prepared to really let go of the Mini. I mean, it, we had wheels here. We had um, all sorts yep. of parts. I ended up having to, like, kind of bring a thing down to the sales guy, you know, stuff that we didn't bring with us because we weren't really prepared. We just spent two and a half days right. detailing she that ceramic car. Ceramic it. Right, ceramic coated it. Right, right. It did ceramic look awesome. And we had people, it said, Cleaned like at the dealership saying, is this seriously a seven-year-old car? Wow. Yeah, yeah, they were really floored yeah. because Franny just, just ceramic coated yeah. it. You don't do that generally if you're, yeah. you're going to trade in a car. Right. Well, not only right. that, but you take care of your car. Yeah. We I have. mean, I, I'm I am just taking a quick walk around here. Right. Uh, they're in the middle of so many projects right now. Obviously, if you if you watch a channel, but I mean, number one, this 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 four post lift setup, this is terrific. I wish I had the ceiling space in order to do it in my garage. Not going to happen. But the lighting, just yeah, look how this so casts yeah. on the car. This is amazing. And you could see so many details if you're detailing the car. Absolutely. You're going to see so many details here that you're, you're not going to miss things. If these are, these are um, under cupboard lighting. That's, That's so cool. For a, for a kitchen, yep. it's LED that is so cool. For a kitchen, so we didn't have to worry about them getting wet because it's inside. Yeah, um, such a low profile; they don't right. get crushed when the lights. Well, stay it is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it is amazing. And what light do you have here over on the side? That is just a, a four by uh, two by four foot LED, just panel light. Actually, That's nice. that we got from. Um, uh, bright LEDs or LED, bright, bright LEDs dot com I think something like that. Uh, those are wonderful and they're they're flat. So over on the other side, it looks like we've gone oh, through yeah. a lot of fuss to put that on the wall and put it in. But it, over here, you can actually see that it's just flat. Yeah. And there's a little bump in the back for the you know for the electrical connections. Yep. And we had um, an electrician come in. We added a ton of light up here. These are all LED shop lights as well. And we needed power. He put a drop there. Oh, wow. And so we had quite a bit of electrical stuff done on the garage because honestly, when you have a lift, it's like a cave underneath here. It's super, super dark. Yeah. Um, but these add quite a bit of light. So when the car comes back and it's a mess or you're bringing it inside, uh, it makes it a lot easier to detail it. That's terrific. Yeah. I can really appreciate it. Yeah. I love it. And this, this is the project car. Be sure to check out their channel. Franny's been working very hard to take care of the engine and the transmission in this car. Franny even gave me a personal tour of the torn down engine and answered all of my questions. The shroud would be pushing air down then? Yeah, so it comes okay. in here and it blows down. The shroud is, where is the shroud? It's right here. Down there, yep. yep. So this okay. sits on top, you can see the big, um, that's the other half of this. Right, big where fan your fan is. goes right, right there, which I put somewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so it goes in. It's got really cool diverters that, that mm -hmm. you know, send the air in certain places. Okay. Follow, subscribe, like, make sure you follow these guys as well. Thanks again for having me into your garage, and I really appreciate uh, 
I really appreciate your hospitality. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Safe travels. Thank you. <laughs>